Have you ever wondered what you have in common with fish? They have scales, we have skin. They can breathe underwater, we need air. They use fins to swim and we use legs to walk. But despite these differences, humans have some very important similarities with the zebrafish. Human and zebrafish hearts function in much the same way, and it is this likeness that has led scientists to use the fish for researching heart development. Dr Kelly Smith is on the case, and her studies could have some potentially groundbreaking results. Kelly, what are the aims of your research? So my aim is basically to understand how we build a heart. I want to understand how a heart is put together, I love it, that's really cool. So what's involved in the research process? Right, so basically we take um, an embryo and we watch the heart as it forms and take the lessons from biology. Right, and what are potential applications for those research findings? Right, in the short term, this will help us to understand how congenital heart defects form, which will help us to treat those th diseases. But in the long term, maybe it will help in helping us build a heart ourselves. Just imagine a world with man-made organs. If Kelly's research is anything to go by, we're a lot closer to it than you would expect. Kelly, what is it about the zebrafish that makes them suited to this type of research? Right, well, they produce an abundance of eggs, so one female can produce upward of 200 embryos a week. Wow. Um, also, they're fertilised external to the mother. So if you think of the mouse embryo, it develops in the uterus, whereas these embryos develop outside of the mother and fertilise there. So we can watch them as they develop. Um, and also, the embryos themselves are transparent, so we can watch the organs as they form, which is really exciting. That's really cool. And I believe you can get answers quickly because the rate of development is quite rapid. How quick are we talking here? Yeah, that's right. Um, so. So an embryo at about two days um, post-fertilisation is about the equivalent of a mouse embryo at 10 days. So we're talking five times faster. Right, but then it's still a long-term research project, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, that's right. So a lot of research projects take years to really understand um, the nuts and bolts of what we're working at. Um, I myself have, have been researching in this field for six years and I'm really still in the infancy of my research. Zebrafish are vertebrates. In other words, they have a spine. Because they have this similarity with humans, it means they are more likely to be biologically similar than a more distantly related organism. So apparently I have a lot more in common with fish than I first thought, and it's a good thing too. If I ever need a new heart, these guys might just be the reason I get one.